The World Health Organization is calling for a moratorium on the widespread distribution of COVID-19 booster shots through the end of this year, the group's head said Wednesday, arguing wealthy countries are not doing enough to vaccinate at-risk people around the world who are yet to receive their first dose. Third doses may be necessary for the most at-risk populations where there is evidence of waning immunity, Tedros said. But for now, we do not want to see widespread use of boosters for healthy people. 80%. That's how many of the 5 billion vaccine doses administered to date globally went to high and upper middle income countries, according to Tedros. A growing number of wealthy countries, including the United States, have moved to offer vaccine pop-ups despite ongoing debate over whether they are necessary. As they unveiled their plan to start rolling out a third dose in September, pending FDA and CDC approval, U.S. officials cited data showing diminishing protection against mild and moderate illness from the Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines more than six months after inoculation. We are concerned this pattern of decline we are seeing will continue in the months ahead, which could lead to reduced protection against severe disease, hospitalization and death explained U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Morty. However, other experts have argued that countries pursuing boosters are making decisions prematurely based on incomplete data. There has been research suggesting the protection against infection offered by vaccines wanes over time. However, studies indicate the vaccines remain highly protective against severe illness, hospitalization and death. Experts have warned that unequal vaccine distribution could lead to the emergence of more dangerous variants. More potent variants could emerge if the virus gets the chance to circulate in countries with low vaccine coverage, Tedros said when calling for the two-month moratorium last month. U. S. to begin offering booster shots while these countries have barely begun COVID vaccinations. Forbes, when can you get a COVID-19 booster shot? Forbes full coverage and live updates on the coronavirus.